The Digicoder 20 is a standalone UV flood coder designed to add value to LIFO or digitally printed sheets. UV coating offers protection and enhancement of the print quality, making colors appear richer and more vivid. It is widely seen as a more environmentally friendly alternative to lamination because virtually no waste is produced and the UV coated documents can be recycled as normal printed paper. Users of the Digicoder 20 can choose between matte, gloss or textured finishes on a job by job basis. Five textured rollers are available to simulate surface textures such as canvas, leather and crystal. The Digicoder 20 is available in two versions. The first comes with six tanks and three coating rollers and is designed for customers who want to switch between coating and priming. A second version has four tanks and two coating rollers designed for coating applications only. Setup on the Digicoder is easy. Coating and stock thicknesses are controlled by calibrated levers. A standard feature on the Digicoder 20 is an air knife that directs a jet of air at the sheets to ensure smooth, fast release from the coating rollers. An optional DigiIR unit is available for coating sheets printed using wax-based toners. The unit sits in front of the coder and heats the toner prior to coating to make sure the UV varnish is fully adhered to the toner. The Digicoder offers a choice of suction feeders a top feeder for large quantities, or a bottom feed device for smaller quantities with on-the-run loading for continuous operation. An integral catch tray can be specified, and the Digicoder 20 can optionally be fitted with a jogger at the time of order or later. To clean down the digicoder, the operator simply changes the pump and drip tray selection for the clean down cycle and back again once the operation is complete. The digicoder 20 runs at a maximum 98 feet per minute across a 20 inch maximum coating width. It can handle paper stocks greater than 0.015 inches thick and offers a variable coating thickness of between 6 and 14 microns. 